good, that's good, that's good. First of all, I want to thank everybody for coming out. It's good to see a big, big turnout tonight on the first night. So, so if you don't know, my name is Ryan Jupiter, and this is Jacques Corso, and we're Tulane Mad Students 30 years that initiated this program, or started the program a year or two back. Um, and it's entitled Don't Wait to Lose. So we also have a, a strong working team with us that are actually running around getting stuff done right now. So everybody from the executive board, you can kind of just wave your hands so everybody can see. These people put in a lot of time, a lot of hard work, just like we did, to make sure that this session and the sessions before, and the ones to come, work and flow as smoothly as possible. So we definitely want to give them a round of applause, too. And also, we have a bunch of math students in the back. Can y'all just wave, wave to everybody can see? These are going to be your personal trainers, pretty much, throughout the whole session. They're going to be the ones that communicate with you directly. You go to them with your questions, and they'll be able to provide information for you, or directly to someone or to a source that you can get all your questions answered. So again, we want to thank y'all for coming out, and let's go ahead and get started. So it's no way to lose. And why, why did we come up with this program? Well, Jacques and I were working out one day, actually, in the gym, and we decided after, post, after Katrina happened, there was something that we need to do in New Orleans. I'm originally from New Orleans, and Jacques's been here for about at least six, seven plus years now. And it was our opportunity to give back. Even though med school is vigorous with time and time constraints, we still want to be able to provide some kind of way to be effective in our, in our hometown. So this is the program that we, designed, that we designed and came up with. Some of the reasons that we decided to do something is, as you can see from the statistics that, that kind of plague our city, is that in New Orleans, we have 61% that are overweight or obese. And that's the complication. This is the problem that can lead to so many different diseases that are preventable, and we'll get into that a little bit later too. Only 21% eat five servings of fruits and vegetables per day, which is also not, not too good. 24% regularly exercise. We definitely want to increase that number, and exercise can be just normal or increased activity, not necessarily the time constraints that most people like to put on things as far as hours and hours in the gym because we don't have that commitment to give. We as med students know that. So we came up with ways to make it easier. Again, we'll get to that a little bit later. In 2001, we were the, the fourth most overweight. 2004, we did a little bit better, became the seventh most overweight. But now, as of 2008, Louisiana is the fattest, uh, un most unhealthy state. So we pretty much have to do better. That's, that's something that we definitely want to go ahead and try to improve upon. So the first step, congratulations. Give yourself a round of applause again because you, you all are here. That means you recognize that there are some issues that you want to tackle within your own personal lives because we all have per, uh, personal issues that we want to get a hold of, get grasp of. And so this is a method for you to start that process. So we again, thank y'all. Congratulations for making that very first step. So why is obesity a problem? It's the leading cause of many preventable conditions, and that's what people fail to realize. When you control your weight, you can, you can prevent a lot of diseases like type 2 diabetes, hypertension, gallstones, high blood cholesterol, osteoarthritis, many problems that many of you may have or know somebody who does have or suffers with, and these are some things that are actually preventable. So most of the reason is you don't know how. So that's where we come, that's where we come in at. We're, e we're eager med students, anxious to learn, and anxious to look up a lot of information. So we're here to provide it for you. So this is what we're going to do. We designed the program initially. It started with Franklin Avenue Baptist Church. I don't know if any of you all, how many are familiar with Franklin Avenue Baptist Church? OK, it's a, it's a big church in the community um, right on Franklin Avenue. And we had a huge population where we can kind of assess the needs of people within New Orleans, because it's a, it's a central area where people from the West Bank meet, from the East meet, from downtown, from every, all parts of the city that commute, we kind of address or ask questions to see what kind of problems do they have and how can we solve them or what they look for to solve them. And this is some of the information that we got back. Most of the conditions were like high blood pressure, as you can see. It's probably the most uh, concerning issue that most people struggle with. You have high cholesterol also, back problems, obesity. So this is, these are where we got our titles or topics for, my, for our sessions that are going to previously uh, come in the weeks to come. So, that was a big, a big help for us because it gave me and Jacques ideas of how to design a program so that it can be effective and you want to learn from it, right? right. So, so don't wait to lose. This is a partnership between us, the two lane med students, as you can see, that are all here, friendly faces, welcoming you all tonight. Um, Franklin Avenue Baptist Church, the two lane community, how many people from two lane just in general? 
All right, good job. And from 1555 Fortress, we just use this as our central location. So many people in the Fortress building have been asking about, you know, how can we get involved too? So I hope many of you got the email and are, and are anxious as well to participate in the program. Our vision for this program is that we want to have kind of a worship experience through a complete holistic approach. We want you to be conscious of your, your whole self, not just the way you look, but how you feel and the things that you put in your body so you can feel you know, just the overall, an overall um, sense, of, sense of health. It's not just about weight loss. So we want to make you healthy. That's the big issue. So it's mind, body, and spirit. And we're also going to recognize the needs of the community. That's always our focus. We want to know what you want how we can help to, to get that situation uh, better for you. Our mission statement, we want to initiate and maintain an effective long-term health program based on scientific research and evidence that we've done. We I spent a lot of time finding out what, what problems, um, why didn't programs like this work previously? So we kind of compiled information from those programs and gave it a little speak, put a New Orleans spin on it, kind of like a gumbo, mixed it up, and came up with no way to lose. So, this is one thing that, um, that's been very effective in helping us too. But not just one weekend workshop. I know a lot of times you hear things being advertised about, come this weekend and you will make miraculous changes in your life. That's not realistic. So we're here for you. We have a nine week program that we want to commit to you and for, we, and for you to commit to us. So as long as you're on board, you're gonna be on board to do as best as we can to make sure that everything goes the way you can see um, benefits from the program. So we're making practical changes. We're not trying to make you cut out or follow any specific diet as far as the Atkins diet, you know, stop eating carbs and things like that. We're making practical changes to the way you normally function in life. New Orleans style, everybody knows New Orleans love food. We like to eat. <laughs> that's one of the things that people come to New Orleans for. That's one of the things we pride ourselves on is our, our menus. And we have a nutritionist, and we'll get more into that later, who knows how to make New Orleans style food healthy. So that's a big plus as well. We want to make you aware of some of the health-related issues that are taking place in the city. We want to give you a means to improve those health behaviors. And again, the holistic approach, we want to make sure you have complete mind, body, and spirit um, satisfaction. It's a partnership, as I mentioned kind of earlier, between us, the med students. As, as med students, we have, I guess, our, available to us a lot of different resources on a professional basis. We have specialty physicians that will come and kind of give our lectures. We have Dr. Ledoux, she's a cardiologist, well-known throughout the state, and she's gonna be one of our key uh, speakers. We have a nutritionist, as I mentioned before, his name is Dr. Harlan, and we have a, a med student who's been working with him, and he's gonna give a lecture, Casey Stover, in a, in a few minutes. Epidemiologists, personal trainers, Jacques was a personal trainer for about six years before med school, so he's gonna tackle that side of the program. And um, experts in more school fields. Um, how many of you have heard of Dr. Corey Gaybear? All right, he handles our stress management situation because even though you see him in a lot of places, he's a doctor and I, I respect a lot of the community. He knows the struggles that New Orleans deal with because he deals with them himself and he sees them as a physician. So he knows how to handle those stressful situations and he's going to give as much advice on how you can do the same thing as possible. Pastor Lou is the pastor of Franklin Avenue Baptist Church and he serves as our kind of, even though his time doesn't allow as much as he <laughs> we would like him to, he's one of our um, key figures that we want to kind of get to make those adjustments and see improvement in his lifestyle, as well as the church staff, the congregation, and, and again, the Tulane community and everybody amongst the 1555 Fortress community. This program is gonna provide, everybody knows how the best way, or do you all know, what's the best way to get information to spread? Anybody? <laughs> Pretty much, same thing, exactly, word of mouth. So we want you to not only learn from this information, but you'll find yourselves in a position where you can explain or answer some topics of friends, families, coworkers that are not able to attend the sessions on a nightly basis. That's, that's what we kind of want to get you all to do. Get comfortable with saying what you're learning and what you're doing and seeing for yourself that actually works and seeing the results so that other people can benefit from it. So one of the things that, you know, a, a good friend of mine told me is that everybody knows they have problems and have issues, but if you don't provide a means or a way to help those issues, you kind of just add to the problem. So. This is what Jacques, I'm going to hand it over to Jacques now. We're going to go into detail about the, the steps of the program, but we want to provide that means for you all. So, here's Jacques. 